Traditional lending focuses on families that have collateral. So by definition, lending favors the wealthy. But self-help focuses primarily on families that are the bottom half economically in the state's economy. So our goal is to figure out how do you lift up the people who are viewed as being the bottom half, to find those families who have great character and who would succeed if they could get access to a loan in order to uh, help their families become more stable. And they do that by owning homes or by starting small businesses, by purchasing a car to be able to get to work. I heard about self-help because um, I was working with the Small Business Center and um, they provided information about some fundings in the area. A Safe Place started as a family child care provider. Yeah. There was a deficit of centers in the zip code and we thought that we could come in and provide an opportunity for families to be served and so we wanted to create that home away from home. I have to give kudos to self-help. They do listen. There's a sense of compassion when you walk through the door. There's a sense of that small man, you can be big here. They really partner with me and they were key in us purchasing the second location. And from there we expanded. We have essentially thrown away whole communities of people that we just don't know what to do with anymore. But a modern economy really cannot survive unless it takes care of both the bottom half of the society and the top half. And so our belief is every child care center, every rural health clinic that gets started, every homeowner becomes a point of stability for North Carolina and for the community where those families live. Self-help helped me to fulfill a dream that I've had ever since I was a young child. I just think it's awesome. I think it's a gift. I think it's um, that it's my challenge in life. It's who I am. It really is.